curl friends, I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today, I thought we should take the time to clarify maybe some misunderstanding on curly hair cuts, what's the best way to cut your hair for your desired look, all that jazz. And the main question is, are we still getting diva cuts? You know, after the controversy, people are wondering, okay, we don't use the products anymore, but are we getting diva cuts? And unfortunately, a lot of the diva Sean salons, if not all of them, I know at least the ones in New York. Are there other ones in, outside of New York? I don't know. Point is they're closing. They're, they're closed. They're gone. So you might still run into a diva certified stylist that is still offering you diva cuts. And some of you are nervous as to if you should still get one. So let's talk about what that is and what that really means. While we discuss this topic, I do want to stick to my curly hairstyle challenge. So I'm going to be doing a little hairstyle while we chit chat. Oh, and breaking news. I have officially hit 600,000 subscribers here on YouTube. So I wanted to just take the time to say thank you so much because you, yes, you, hit that subscribe button, that's what made this possible. Like last night, I needed one more subscriber to hit it. And that person made it happen. So literally every single subscribe helps. So if you have curly hair and you don't know what to do with it, you wanna know the best products to use or how to style curly hair, just kind of understand what our curly hair is all about, definitely subscribe while you're here so you can get weekly curly hair tips. But okay, I want to do a little, um, let's do a middle part. And I want to try the little like mini space buns. Oh, that's see, it's already cute. Or like mini ponytails, maybe buns. We'll see how I feel. So back to the topic at hand, a diva cut. Yes, diva cut is affiliated with diva curl, but it technically has nothing to do with their products. It is possible that you can get a quote unquote diva cut but not use any Diva Curl styling products. Oh God. Now usually they would, especially if you went to a Diva Sean salon, but I know after everything went down, there would be people that would still go to the salon that say, hey, can you use some different products? And then the stylist may or may not want to do that depending on where you go. So the term Diva Cut is literally just a name that was coined by probably Lorraine Massey and Diva Curl to let you know that these people know what they're doing with curly hair. So think of it like Kleenex. Kleenex isn't really a thing. It's the name of a tissue brand, but what you're actually using is a tissue. So we often use them interchangeably like Kleenex and a tissue or Xerox and making copies. So it's just kind of one of those things, but it's really just a curly haircut. And some people even try to make it seem like it's the shape of your hair, but it's really not. Like I can get a diva cut and someone else can get a diva cut and it can look completely different. So it's gonna depend on what you told the stylist. It really also means that that cut was done by a diva certified stylist. You also could be diva certified and never use diva curl products ever again if you wanted to. Diva Curl certification is just, just means that someone took the time to actually learn and understand curly hair and that they probably do a dry cut, meaning they're cutting your hair while it's dry, curl by curl. So it's a curl by curl method instead of just straightening your hair and then not knowing how it's gonna look at the end of the day, cutting it while it's wet and then you have shrinkage and have no idea what it's gonna look like. So. Even if you aren't using Diva Curl anymore, I still respect hairstylists that took the time to learn about curly hair. Because unfortunately, curly hair is not the normal. Even in beauty standards, in um, like licensed cosmetics, licensed hairstylist professionals, the book is like 95% about straight hair and then maybe like a chapter or two about curls. So if you wanna be a, a licensed professional hairstylist, you can become one and not know how to you know, properly cut curly hair. 
But if you only know how to do curly hair, it's not good enough. You have to know straight hair. We need to fix that. All right, I'm gonna do two little ponytails. Should I brush this back and be neat? Hmm, okay, I'll be good. I did try a new gel today. I tried the Botanica Beauty, the Protector Styling Gel. This is thick. She is thick, like, it's, this is the thickest gel I've probably ever seen. This is, might be even thicker than the powder gel. And that's what kind of gave me some confidence that it would be stronghold. Let's see how it does when it comes to slicking down. I did like it for my curls though. I can't speak for the entire botanical line because unfortunately some of their products do contain lots of silicone. I don't know about sulfates, but they definitely have some silicone. So just keep that in mind. But I would not not go to a stylist because they're Diva certified and you're not trying to use Diva Curl anymore. It is very possible that they are still down to cut your hair dry, do a curly dry cut, but then just not use Diva Curl products. Definitely ask if you're not sure before you get there so there's no surprises. I actually still have a lot of respect for those that learn how to cut curly hair. That's all that means. So at the end of the day, when people ask like, oh, what kind of haircut did you get? Like the name is just a name. At the end of the day, are you cutting my hair dry, wet, or are you making me straighten it? That's what you need to understand before you go to any hair salon. And people have different preferences. I highly, highly recommend getting your hair cut in the way that you always wear your hair. So if you always wear your hair curly, why in the world would you straighten it to get it cut? And then people say like, oh, because that way it's even and you know it's even and it's not all choppy. It's like, it's gonna look choppy because you did it straight. And if you have multiple curl patterns in your hair, which a lot of people do, half of your head's gonna be super curled up and the other half is not. <laughs> so I just don't understand why you guys think it really matters for it to be, um, you know, perfectly lined up when it's straight if you don't wear your hair straight. And even if you do wear your hair straight, like, I don't know, three times a year, are you really gonna base your cut off of how you look three times out of 365 days? Let's do the math here, people. So my main thing is I've done, have I, have I cut it straight before? I've never cut it straight. I've cut it like brushed out before, which is like in its stretch state, which still isn't good. And I've definitely cut my hair wet. Cutting it wet, you know, it could work out, but then you're leaving the salon having no idea how short your actual hair is because it's wet and elongated. And you have to wait till you get home when it shrinks up and you're like, oh, she cut too much. Same thing when it's straight. You can go in and get your hair cut if you, while it's straight if you want, but then you don't know how it's gonna look curly until you wash it. That's scary to me. Like, I love being able to leave the salon and, and knowing exactly how my hair is gonna look. Because after I get my dry cut, I can see how it's gonna look in its dry state, period. That way I can be like, hmm, I want more bangs, or I want more layers, or I wanna go a little bit shorter, whatever it may be. But otherwise, you really don't know. And that's what adds to the fear that a lot of us have when we go to a curly hair salon because we're just nervous. Because when we leave the salon, we often don't know how we're gonna look when we get home. So I personally always recommend doing a dry cut because that way you can see how your hair is going to look in the moment. So if any changes need to be done, they could be handled before you pay the stylist. Now let's talk about how to find a curly hair stylist where you live and how do you know who to trust? The main thing you wanna do is find their Instagram and look at their photos. If they're not on Instagram, maybe they have photos on apps like Style Seed is a great app that I've used before. Um, if they have a website, I don't know a lot of styles to keep up with the website. But IG will show you all their haircuts and you can just see if you like their work. Otherwise, I mean, you don't wanna scroll and only like one haircut and hope that you're like that one. You wanna see what they can do. Pictures will always speak louder than words. Is that a saying? Is that right? It's probably not. 
Actions speak louder than words, not pictures. <laughs> Whatever. Because if you guys saw my first diva cut haircut nightmare, if you haven't, go watch that video on YouTube. It's gonna make you laugh as I cry during my uh, haircut. But for example, I told that stylist that I wanted a diva cut and she said, okay, cool, I got you. Then I get there and she was like, oh yeah, I had to Google a diva cut before you got here. But yeah, we could do that. I'm like, Google? You just learned what this was yesterday, this morning? So that, that was not a good sign. <laughs> and I did not get what I asked for because she didn't know what it was. So these are the questions that you wanna ask before you even go to the salon. You wanna say, hey, do you have experience with naturally curly hair? They say yes. Say, how are you going to cut my hair? How would you like my hair to be when I arrive? If they say, we want you to straighten your hair, if they say, we're gonna wash your hair and then cut, they might say to come in with your hair in its natural state, dry, but still clean, and we're gonna cut it dry. Like, make sure you know exactly how they're planning on cutting your hair so that there's no surprises when you get there. You also wanna bring reference photos. If you bring a photo, you could say, hey, I want my hair to look like this. That way the stylist has a clear idea of what you're looking for. If you just say, oh, I just wanna go a little bit shorter, do not give the stylist free range to decipher what a little bit shorter means. Literally show them like, I just, I don't wanna lose more than this. Like, I, I'm, or I'm here for some dusting, just dust my ends. Or say, I wanna just lose like an inch or two. Be as specific as possible, because this is your hair, and once it's cut off, it's on the floor. It's a little too late. So there's my little hairstyle of the day. Cute little double ponytail with some baby hairs. Super easy, you can keep your hair down, but also kinda of like keep some hair up and out of your face. But you also can do two little space buns and bring it back to Scary Spice and do a little Spice Girl-esque look. If you guys watch The Circle, Scary Spice is on there and it just made me really nostalgic. So let's do, let's do a little Scary Spice and let's just see how it looks. If these styles are too young for you, you know, you can do them on your kid. Still cute. How to find a stylist. I really did enjoy the stylist search on the Diva Curl website because they had a list of their stylists and salons that were Diva certified and it showed you the different levels of Diva certification. So some people only have the Diva cut knowledge of maybe washing and styling, some have the knowledge of cutting hair, some have the knowledge of cut and color and education. So there's different levels to Diva certification. So you can see the level like on their little certificate or on the wall or website, like it should say how certified they are. And you can go off of that, but at the end of the day, I'm more about your skills. I wanna see what you can do. I wanna see your reference photos to see how you've taken care of your clients. But even if they aren't diva certified, that does not mean that those are the only people that know how to cut curly hair. Some people just didn't take that specific course. Some people learned on their own, some people have curly hair, so they just know what to do. Um, there's a bunch of different reasons. So there's like the Rizzo's cut. That's like a certain look. There's a, what's the other one? Like some stylists have created their own names for their cuts and they might have a specific look, like it might be short and angled or it might be like going from having a middle part to having big voluminous bangs. It depends. So all, the, all these questions can be answered on their Instagram. And if you're a stylist, this is why it's very important for you to keep up with your Instagram and your social media game. I know many people are like, I'm not trying to be an influencer. That didn't work. <laughs> I know people are like, I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm a hairstylist. Yeah, but it's basically your website. I have booked more people from Instagram than I have ever anyone's website. And if I got to their website, it was because I got there from their Instagram. So stop fighting the future and get on. Another great way to find a good stylist is by word of mouth, recommendations from other curly people. If you don't know other curly people, I'm sure you follow other curly people, and then you could just ask them where they go. If I'm the only other curly person you know, I got you. <laughs> At least in LA, I go to Curls One on One, best stylist ever, and even though they're located in Beverly Hills, California, and they're booked out for like 
a long time. So it's, as much as I love them, it's almost hard to recommend them because they popular, they poppin'. And when you leave, your curls will look amazing. So that's, that's why. But Curls 101, if you're in Long Beach area, I have my very first real good diva cut from a hairstylist named Felicia. I could put their information below. But if you go on my Instagram, at Ms. Bianca Renee, I have a little highlight circle. So like above all my photos, there's a little circle, it says stylist. Click on that and I've tried to put as many legit Bianca Renee approved or curl friend approved hair salons in multiple different cities and countries. So hopefully there might be a salon in that section for you to check out, but definitely ask around from other people that get curly haircuts, hear about their experience, and then go where you're recommended. I would not recommend just going in blind to a salon that just says we cut curly hair with no photos, no reference, nothing. Like that's just, it's real risky. And unfortunately, curly haircuts are not cheap. They can range from 100 to maybe $300, depending on where you go. So I would say like a good price, cheaper price would be maybe $80. But unfortunately, there's no like super cuts version of curly hair. I really wish there was, but that's the cost. And it really is because a lot of curly hair stylists, they don't just do your hair and then you leave. You go to the salon and you actually are educated on how to take care of it long term. Because if you come in with frizzy hair, you're no help to the stylist because now she has to style this frizzy hair. But if you're maintaining it at home, your hair is going to look better. Therefore, your haircut and color are also going to look better over time. So usually when you go for a full curly haircut experience, they're gonna have you arrive with your hair dry with a little bit of product. You don't wanna be too hard or too old, like day seven hair. Day one, day two hair down. Do not show up in a bun, do not show up in a ponytail, don't show up in braids. Wear it in its down natural state. Then they're gonna cut it in the shape that you want based off your reference photos. Then they're probably gonna wash it, shampoo, conditioner, maybe do a deep conditioner treatment, Olaplex, bonding, whatever your curls need. And then they're going to style it, add in some styling products, diffuse it, and they might do a couple other little like trims here and there once it's dry, but that's like the full scope experience. And hey, if you don't want them to wash your hair after they cut it, you could, because you know how to wash your hair, you could at least ask if there's a different price just for a cut, but not a whole like salon service treatment wash shebang. In conclusion, yes, you can still get a diva cut, if that even exists, if the salons are still around. Yes, you can go to a diva certified stylist. That just means that they know a little more about curly hair than the average stylist. Still respect that. But if you are personally not comfortable with using Diva Curl products, make sure you ask the Diva Certified Stylist app before going or see if you're able to bring your own if they could use something else. I think majority of the time, stylists do have multiple options in their salon for you to choose from, but make sure you know. And if you don't like your Diva Cut, that does not mean that all Diva Cuts are bad. That means you did not like how your stylist cut your hair but you can still get a dry or curly haircut from another stylist that may or may not be diva certified. It, the word diva cut is just a name. The technique is dry cutting and that's what's important. But just remember, if you do wanna get your hair cut while it's straight or while it's wet, there could be that risk of it actually being more choppy once it is curly because of our different curl patterns. For example, this curl is way looser than this curl. This is where I have different curl patterns in my hair. So if I cut an inch off of this side straight versus an inch off of this side straight or wet, this is going to look different once it dries because of my curl pattern. It's just not gonna be the same because if I stretch this curl, it's not gonna be as long as this one. It's just, I don't know, I just feel like it's risky. Just keep that in mind. But do what you want, because it's your hair. Yes, Scary Spice. I used to do this all the time in elementary school. Am I mad I'm doing it now as a mom? <laughs> no. 
All I'm missing is like that gold string to wrap around it and I'm full on Scary Spice. So I have multiple videos on me actually getting my hair cut at Curly Hair Salon so you guys could check it out and see what that really means, how it goes down. I also have videos on how I've gotten color on curly hair because that's a different process than just straight hair. There's less damaging ways to get color without damaging your hair. Um, so make sure you check out those videos. I have a whole playlist on haircuts. But if you have a favorite curly hair salon, please leave a comment, let everyone know your favorite salon and what state or country you're in. That way we can help out our curl friends and make sure no one leaves a salon with a bad experience. Oh, and to celebrate hitting 600,000 subscribers here on YouTube, I do wanna do a giveaway or two, so I'm gonna figure out my prizes, and I'll probably do one giveaway on YouTube, one on Instagram, so to better your chances, make sure you are following me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee, so you don't miss that announcement, but I will be announcing here on YouTube as well, either in a video or in the little community tab, so stick around, you might just win some prizes. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post new videos every week. You also can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.